wanted to do another update uh, to the heat treating process I, I use. I haven't really changed the process any, but just some uh, updated information. I recently started using the uh, Brownells, and uh, sorry for the messy workshop, but the Brownells anti-scaling compound or non-scaling compound helps uh, keep the carbon content constant so you don't burn it off. And when I started doing that, um, you get some that drips off the blade as you're putting it on. Because when you put it on the hot steel, as I showed in the previous video, it kind of just melts to it, almost like a glass-looking substance. But I found, as you can see here, these pieces, this used to be my knife holder. And I'm not sure if it was caused by the non-scaling compound dripping on it, um, but it was pretty much destroyed when I went to do heat treating another batch of knives. There's just a bunch of things in various stages of getting ready to heat treat. I've got uh, some in the oven now uh, I'm working on. So what I did, because I also noticed that it pitted the floor of the oven and uh, can't have that. Um, the ovens aren't cheap to come by. So what I did was Again, sorry for the mess. What I did was, here's a piece of stainless steel, and I cut it to size and put a floor in the oven. So now nothing will drip on the floor. And I also, as you can see, cut a rack, which uh, after things cool down, I'll take a better picture of it to show you what that is. Uh, it's just piece of stainless folded over and cut out with an angle grinder. I've got slots for seven knives in there. I've got six in there currently. I did order another, uh, uh, I don't know what they're made out of, some sort of fire brick and you can see it back here. But I'm not using it currently because I figure there's no reason to drip that non-scaling compound all over it. So uh, I'll give you an update when I pull these out and see how it goes. But the, the heat treat process is the same. Heat the steel up to over 500 degrees. Add the non-scaling compound to it. Um, then put it back in the oven. Heat it up to 1525 degrees. Uh, after it comes out, then get it over to the quench. There's a pot of uh, oil down there underneath the uh, inverter. Yeah, next to all the fiberglass resin. Um, and then temper at 450 degrees. But I'll show you a better picture of the fixture I made for inside the oven. But just wanted to give you an update. If anybody's using the non-scaling compound or starts to use it because of my recommendation, make sure you protect your oven and the fire bricks. As you can see, it kind of drips on it. Again, I don't know if that's what caused this to break out because this stuff's pretty soft. I mean, you can... You can break it with your hand like that. Um, the brick's off to begin with, so it probably doesn't take much. Be back in a bit. Blades I just finished uh, heat treating or hardening. Been taken out, and I'll show you what the inside looks like without the blades in there. Things are cooling off, but you can see the uh, rack there. Let me move it back to a little warm still. Uh, it's just stainless steel, a uh, piece of the same stainless steel that I used for the floor. And it's just folded over uh, with those notches cut in to take the knives. Just make sure whenever you put something in there that you do not have it touch the coil. If you short out the coil, you'll be replacing it. Thanks for watching.